Okay, guys, been here. Um, today we're going to model model the, this. Um, from this image, it's a little bit hard to tell uh, what exactly uh, the um, what exactly look looks like, but I guess um, they are just something like like half a cylinder, and then with a void cutting cutting the hair so to create this shape <laughs> okay so uh, let's let's do it so this is um what i did so basically we can use this to uh, uh to pl place into into a curtain wall so you can very easily place uh place them okay so Okay, so let's start. Okay, so first we're going to create a generic model. Um, yeah. And okay, so first reference plan RP. So this will be we'll we were going to use this as a back. Maybe I'll change this one to back. Uh, just yeah, I'll just leave the name. But this one we can set this as front. And then another two reference plan. Oops, sorry. This can be left and right. Okay, so dimension di equal another one. So this will be the width. So because we are going to eventually place this family into a curtain panel family, it need to be instance parameter. Okay, so now we go to front. Another reference plan RP dimension we and then we add we, we call it H and instance. Okay, so now we need to go back to um, go back to uh, let me think. Um, we need to go to actually go to left. So left. So this is um, what's this one? So this is back. So this will be front. Okay, so we we are going to um, create a void first. But if you look at this, so the void will be something like this. Okay, so some go up. Okay, so we need some more reference plans. So one is here, one is here. So we can give this a dimension. So this can this one control controls the 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 width or the the depths um, of this panel. So okay, so let's call it the uh, uh, hell. We don't have a D. So let me just do a dimension here. So this will be the depths of this um, panel. So let's call it a D instance as well. And go back to the left. So we now we can create. We can call this D two. Um, Let's just oh for this one, um, this one can be a type parameter because we don't need to uh, change it all the time. Okay, so this one's D two, and then um, and also we need one at the top here. So the this controls the thickness or so see this or the height of that part that we can call it h2 okay so for this one same type parameter okay so now we have this one and then we can create another reference plan and then we're going to create a, an arc okay so just quarter of uh, the cir uh, circle so which means this one equals this one so we just create uh, place another dimension let's call this one h3 and this one need to be um kind of not sure just use instance for now and also h3 equals uh d which is from here to here so let's go to a family types h3 equals d minus d2 Okay, so apply. Okay, so now we should be able to create an arc 
here. So now we can create this void. Okay, so void. Um, so this center and arc. So start from this point. Here it is here, here. And let's don't worry about constraint for now. Just draw the shape. Okay, so now we have this shape and we can use VV. Check the sketch dimensions. So now we can see all these zeros. We just need to get rid of them by allowing this sketch line onto the reference plan. So one, so maybe this one as well, and this one, and also this. For this one, we need to turn on the center mark. Okay, so see the little cross there, and a align this to here, and also to here. So it looks fine, but um, I think we just better just uh, add another um, dimension to this uh, radius and apply that um, apply that h3 h3 to it so this will make sure it always work okay so now this is down so this is a void let's go to the front so we just need to drag this to this reference plan and this one to here so now we have done the void. So now go back to floor plan. We just need to create that, um, that, uh, oh, hell. So actually what I did previously, I, I use D equals half a width, which we will create a half circle. So in, um, we can actually, so if I show you, so we can also use ellipse half ellipse, which means we can have different day, different depths, different, uh, we can have uh, different depths other than half of the width, but I'll just probably just leave it to you. So you can, you can create a half ellipse, but for this exercise, I'm going to equal D to the half width so let's go back to um, family type d equals half of width so this will give us a so this um, we can create a extrusion with so perfect half circle okay so what we're going to do is we're going to create another one so roughly there and draw this line okay so again vv turn on the sketch dimension so now it's trying to constrain this one okay so first let's align this to this to this and then for these two arcs we need to turn on the uh, center mark uh, center mark and then align the center mark to to these two reference plan and then we so this one as well so after that, we also need to create uh, dimensions. So one, so this is 600 equals half of the width and also the depths. We can apply that depth to it. And then we need this one as well. So for this one, we're going to uh, create a create another one so this time i'll call this one d we have d1 oh sorry d d2 maybe call it d3 and use type parameter oh sorry use instance parameter because we're going to use that um d which is instance in the formula and then we uh we're not going to use to uh use the d3 to control this because it's a little bit uh hard to um because you always always try to use the thickness to control not instead of you know the, the the void so we're going to create a new parameter so let's call it a th the thickness okay so it will be a type and um a thickness uh hang on. thickness so we're going to type in a number and then we we, we're trying to use the thickness to control the D3. So D3 equals D um, equals D minus minus thickness. Okay, so apply. Okay, so now we can use the thickness to control this. We don't need to worry about um, what this distance is. So it, um, 
yeah i think that's all good so go to front finish this and drag this to the top and then lock it okay so now let's go to 3d view and if we you cut solid void and then we have had this shape so now let's have a test of uh, all these dimensions so first h so let's try 1200 so it should go up great and yeah. let's make it smaller 900 yeah let's make the thickness smaller 100 yeah it all works so now we're going to place this family into a curtain wall panel okay so now go back here load this into here into this so let's place it in the middle so first so we can see we can drag this onto the reference plan so okay so it looks like there's something's not right it's probably probably because of the ratio of this family the height is not um enough so what we can do and also there's no handle for the height so which means there's something's not something's not right so let's go back to this family go to the front so height so make sure first you need to make sure it's a uh, instance parameter which is correct and then the other thing we need to make sure is when we place this dimension so this is something you always you need to oh it's a little bit <laughs> hang on. it's a little bit hard to oh it's a little bit hard to drag this point out so you can see you just need to drag this point so move onto here in the tab to make sure it picks it picks the reference plan not the level okay so now change this uh just apply that parameter to this dimension again uh i think it's h yeah all good load this back overwrite so this time you should be able to see this handle now we can drag this up uh lock and also this here to here lock so now let's have a look in 3d view so this is it and then we um for curtain panel curtain wall panel you don't need to uh, associate family parameters for the height and for the width because they are controlled by the grid in the project okay so don't worry about these two and what we need to um is to create parameters to control these so let's see this is the thickness right the thickness so i'll just create i'll just create a new parameter called the thickness and the i'll use type parameter and h2 what's for h2 <laughs> forgot okay so it's for this one um i think um i think i will just uh, create and uh, also create a parameter called h2 and for d2 i think d2 is for this one so let's change this to 300 so for example yeah good great and then we create a new, oh sorry create a new let's call it d d2 uh, type and okay and okay and okay so i think everything should be good now so let's try so i'm going to just create a project with no template so just empty project and then load this uh, uh no no sorry not this one oh not not this one this one so it's a curtain panel um, curtain wall panel load this into the project okay so now go to wa wall on the wall curtain wall just create a curtain wall so let's go to 3d view so this is a curtain wall with with with, with nothing okay so nothing and then we just apply that uh wall which is this one uh oh what's this one oh sorry wrong one um here family four what is that yeah family four and we we're not uh maybe all we will set the horizontal work plan oh sorry horizontal grid as maybe three meter 
uh, vertical maybe uh, two point fixed distance two uh, for vertical I'm going to use maximum spacing maybe 2400 okay so maybe make this a little higher three six and okay so apply and okay so now you'll see I think ah oh, something's not right what's that line okay so it looks like something's not quite right let's try oh I think that's right because yeah <laughs> because the height of this curtain wall by default it's oh, six meter it's interesting anyway so the three six seventy two hundred will give us two four height and then you can drag this so to create multiple uh, of this curtain wall panel and also let me let me just try to okay hang on. try to adjust if i adjust this one it will automatically reduce the width and for the height let's uh, have a look so if if i want to reduce the height what let me try to use the um so, so, so if I make it three meter and let's see what happened okay great so you can see it's it's perfect so three meter three meter and then what's left there so I think that's it and if we want to control the like the thickness of the height of here the the, the depth here so you can tab select one of these and edit type so it's all here so and if you control if you change one I think uh, I believe I uh, you will change all or so for example this yeah so you will change all okay and then if you wanted to create different you just need to edit type duplicate so maybe unpin it and edit type duplicate you can create different settings so so for example this so you can have different different uh, different one okay so that's it um, I will upload this family for you so you can have a play and uh, if you have any questions please let me know I'll see you next time thank you bye